Have you ever wished you could easily get those random blinky lights from the galaxy far, far away for your prop or room build without having to do time-consuming soldering or learn microcontroller programming? Well, I've developed a plug-and-play solution, the Outer Rim LED Controller. Hey everyone, Jamie with the Outer Rim, and I'm very excited today to give you an overview of my new product, the LED Controller. Um, I've got two versions of it. Um, this is the five-speed controller, and it is a basically a miniature microcontroller that I've pre-programmed to blink lights at various rates. And you've got everything from, you've got five speeds from very fast, fast, normal, slow, very slow, and always on. Uh, this makes it very easy to do a control panel or a droid or a Death Star wall panel or any kind of prop where you want to have various lights blinking at different rates. And you don't want to do soldering and you don't want to do microcontroller programming. This is just plug and play. So I have got the five speed controller hooked up here to this little demo board. And um, it comes with a USB-C cable. And it also comes with <clears throat> your kind of typical wall charger unit. I have selected this specifically to work with this microcontroller. Not every wall charger that you have uh, will be the right voltage and amperage, so don't substitute one you happen to have laying around. Um, I also have a battery pack that I've also specially selected to power this for portable props. This will uh, 2000 milliamp hour battery will run the lights for about two and a half days continuously without needing to be recharged. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. And it takes a second for this to boot up and you'll see I've got always on, very fast blinking, fast blinking, normal, slow and very slow. I also have this 9 volt battery adapter that you can use. It's specially made to step down the voltage and amperage to that which is required by the microcontroller. Uh, so again, don't just attach a 9-volt battery to this thing. You have to have this special adapter that I uh, have in my shop. And then in addition to this, I have a 3-speed controller. It's a little bit less expensive and will be good for a smaller prop like a control panel where you don't need quite so many speeds. It just does fast, normal, slow, and always on. Now you can connect up to five LEDs per lever nut. So this small kit will run 20 LEDs and the larger kit can run up to 30 LEDs. Let me just show you these. These are little lever nuts and you just open up the lever, stick the wire inside and clamp down onto it. Don't know how to solder or just dislike soldering? Microcontroller programming, not your thing? Or maybe you just want to save time on your next build. Check out the LED controllers at theouterrim.com.